right, so Gemini 2.5 computer use. So remember the Gemini CLI? Well, this is more focused on using the browser and it's pretty good. We have a few examples here and uh, I'm going to show later how you can use for free a few times. I'm going to show how you can install on your computer. Yes, you can do that. However, there is a bad news, but more on that later. So you can do browser related stuff. Well, that's pretty much it. You can go to gemini.browserbase.com and here you can test it a few times. Of course, you can't test it forever. They have a limit, but you can see how good it is. I mean, let's, let's try it. Go to amazon.com and add the best budget RTX GPU for AI to the cart. So let's see how it does. Okay, this is the initial page. Okay, it went to Amazon. Come on, 20 seconds already. Definitely not the fastest thing I have ever seen. Okay, it's typing in the search bar. <laughs> All right, it literally searched for best budget RTX GPU for AI. <laughs> this is not the best, but it's pretty good, apart from the only eight gigabytes. But let's see, one minute already. Okay, it added to the cart. <laughs> nice, so it works. Okay, one minute and 20 seconds. Okay, so it finished. Okay, so it works, pretty good. But how can you do it locally? Okay, so first you need to go to the computer use preview, GitHub page, and then here you can, well, git clone. I have here my virtual machine, cheat sheet here. And first, what you need to do is install Git and Conda. I'm gonna put a link in the description so you can follow the instructions to install it. And Anaconda, so I'm gonna leave the page here so you can follow the instructions. After you have Git and Anaconda, you create a folder and then open your terminal and then git clone whatever the command is in here. So you copy this, paste, and I don't need to do this because I already did it. After you've done that, you're gonna have this folder. So you can open this, you can open your terminal here or cd into it, and then you're gonna have to conda create dash n and give a name to your environment like computer use and then specify the python version so python 3.12 or 11 or whatever after than that you need to activate the environment so conda activate computer use now you can do the rest, like pip install requirements.txt. So pretty simple. You could use Python environment, but I prefer using Conda environments. Now that my environment is set up, I only need to copy this, paste it here. Remember to be in this folder and then install it. Now it's saying here to install Playwright dependencies for Chrome and then install Chrome but in my system, at least, it didn't work. So you first, in some cases, you need to install these dependencies on your system first. So in my case, I just need to copy this and paste and then install it. I don't need it because I already did it. And then you install the Playwright Chrome dependencies and the Playwright install Chrome then it should work. Now you need to create a API key. So you need to go to your Google AI Studio. If you have a Google account, you already have Google AI Studio, get API key, and then here you create an API key. Mine here is in Portuguese, but don't mind that. After you do that, 
you need to copy your key, change this to your API key, and then copy the whole command, paste it here, and then export. Okay, so that's it. After you've done that, it should work. So you need to run python main.py dash dash and then the query and then you put whatever you want here. So let's see if I can run it. Okay, it opened the browser and I'm already seeing some errors. And that's the bad news I was talking about it. Yeah, if I wait a little longer, oh, okay, it closed the browser. Why that happened? Well, unfortunately, the free tier doesn't support the computer use. <laughs> So you can't use the computer use with the free tier. If you want to do something for free, you probably want to do it in browser base. However, uh, you only get a few tries. And if you want to use more and locally on your computer, you're going to have to pay for it. <laughs> but it's not too bad. However, if you liked what this can do, you're probably gonna like much, much more what the Gemini CLI can do because that is pretty much unlimited and you can run locally. Of course, you're gonna need an API as well, but it's much, much better. And you can watch this video next